Hey, I'm Ranch, PDQ's Senior SOC Analyst, and today we are going to talk about the top five risks you should be talking about with your leadership. Now, let's clarify what a risk actually is. A risk is the likelihood that a threat uh, could be exploited. So those are two very distinct different uh, things and we need to keep that in mind when we're talking about risks, especially with leadership. Now, the first risk that we are going to talk about is our users. Users are our biggest risk in a company because let's face it, they're unpredictable. They have access to your most valuable assets and they are your most valuable asset. So how can you help users be more cybersecurity conscious and less of a risk to your business? One of the things that you can start with is security awareness training. Letting them know the basics of cybersecurity sounds redundant, or maybe they don't need to know that, maybe they already know it. But reminding them and keeping that fresh and also teaching people who don't already know those concepts will just further secure your company and lower that risk to your business. Now let's talk about shadow IT. What is shadow IT? That's when one of your users procures hardware or software without IT knowledge. For example, your user could plug in a router into your enterprise network and start hosting their own Wi-Fi because your Wi-Fi is too restrictive or they don't remember the password. It's just easier for them. So how do we combat this? Again, we need to educate our users that going through IT and proper channels for software and hardware procurement protect the company and its most critical assets. Now let's talk about a really scary risk, local permissions on endpoints. Your users need to be able to do what it takes to complete their job. Their workstations are a very important tool for that, and they often need permissions to install software or just use their computer normally without having to reach out to their admins. But there's significant risk in giving your users access to their endpoints. Installing malicious software or something like that could be just a click of a button for them. 2025 may be a good year to start having this discussion with your leadership and your users of what you can do to secure your endpoints while still allowing your users the flexibility to complete their jobs. Now, let's talk about data classification. That's one that is a relatively new topic for us. Data is the most critical piece to your infrastructure. It's what we run on. So classifying your data so that we know exactly what it is, who should have access, and what it means for our customers and business. For example, you could have production data leaking into your staging environment because it's not properly classified as customer data. So how do you fix this? Talk with your leadership and make sure that you are classifying your data properly as customer data, staging information, or whatever it may be. There are all types of data that are important to secure in different ways. Now let's talk about a risk that we're really not talking about, irregular users. These could be your contractors, your temps, or maybe even your part-time employees. These are still employees who have access to potentially sensitive data or information. So how do you handle this? I recommend thinking about having conversations with your leadership about what contractors mean for you as an IT department and for your compliance. This is very important to make sure that you are still maintaining security across your organization and ensuring that your users can still do their job. So what I really wanna emphasize is having conversations with your leadership about those risks that could impact you the most this year. If you have any security questions for me, leave them in the comments below.